Every single second, more than 10,000 airplanes are flying above us. They streak across the skies carrying passengers, cargo, and dreams. But here's the question that stops people cold when they really think about it. Why don't they just fall out of the sky? A massive machine made of metal, weighing hundreds of tons, somehow defies gravity. It soars through the air as if the laws of nature have been bent in its favor. But they haven't been bent at all. They've been mastered. The science behind airplanes is not magic, but rather one of humanity's most brilliant applications of physics. To understand this, we first need to meet four invisible forces. They're with every airplane in every moment of flight. They tug, pull, resist, and push. They argue with each other constantly. And yet, when balanced correctly, they carry an aircraft gracefully across continents. These four forces are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Weight, of course, is the easiest to grasp. It's gravity. It's the pull of the earth on the plane. When you drop a ball, it falls. When you let go of a pen, it lands on the floor. A plane, even if it weighs 300 tons, is no exception. Gravity is constantly demanding that the aircraft return to the ground. Drag is the next opponent. Drag is air's resistance. If you've ever stuck your hand out of the window of a moving car, you've felt drag pushing against it. The faster you go, the harder the air pushes back. A plane moving forward encounters that same resistance, but on a colossal scale. If drag and weight had their way, every flight would end before it even began. But that's where lift and thrust enter the battle. Thrust is what engines provide. Whether it's the propeller of a small Cessna or the roaring turbines of a Boeing 777, thrust is the forward-pushing force that drives an aircraft through the air. Without thrust, the airplane becomes nothing more than a metal sculpture. With thrust, it becomes something alive, something moving, something ready to fly. And then comes the true miracle of flight, lift. Lift is the upward force generated by the wings. It's what keeps the airplane from plunging back to the earth. It's invisible, yet it's powerful enough to counter the weight of the aircraft. But how does a wing, just a piece of metal shaped in a certain way, create lift? The answer takes us into one of the most fascinating principles in physics. The wings of an airplane are shaped in a very specific way, an airfoil. The top of the wing curves, while the bottom is flatter. As the airplane moves forward, air flows over and under the wing. Because of that curve, the air on top has to travel faster than the air beneath. Bernoulli's principle tells us that faster moving air creates lower pressure. So the pressure above the wing is less than the pressure below it. That pressure difference pushes the wing upward. That's lift, but that's only half the story. Newton's third law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction, is just as crucial. As the wing slices through the air, it forces air downwards. That downward push creates an upward reaction force. The wing, in effect, is scooping air downward like a spoon cutting through soup. The air is redirected, and the plane is lifted. Between Bernoulli and Newton, the science of flight reveals itself as a combination of pressure differences and reaction forces working together in perfect harmony. And here's a question people often ask. What happens if the engines fail? Does the plane simply drop from the sky? The answer is no. Airplanes are designed to glide. A commercial airliner can travel miles and miles forward for every mile it descends. Pilots are trained for these scenarios. In fact, entire flights have landed safely after losing all engine power because the wings keep working as long as the plane has speed and altitude. Thrust may be gone, but lift and glide remain. It's a silent ballet of physics keeping the aircraft aloft until it can safely return to Earth. And then there's the question that astonishes almost everyone. How can something as massive as a jumbo jet, weighing hundreds of tons, possibly stay in the sky? A Boeing 747 can weigh up to 900,000 pounds when fully loaded. That's like balancing a small skyscraper in the air. The secret lies in those gigantic wings. They're not just metal slabs. They are masterpieces of aerodynamic design, optimized to generate incredible amounts of lift. 
the faster the jet moves, the greater the lift it produces. Engines don't just push, they give the wings the speed they need to carve the air and create that upward force. The sheer size and weight of the aircraft are no match for the physics that keep it afloat. So the next time you look up at the sky and see a plane carving its path through the clouds, remember this. It isn't magic keeping it there. It isn't luck or some invisible force defying nature. It's science. Bernoulli's principle, Newton's laws, and the four forces of flight are at work in perfect harmony. Lift pushes up, weight pulls down, thrust drives forward, and drag resists. And thanks to engineers and pilots who understand these forces intimately, tons of metal glide gracefully across continents every single day. The airplane is not a triumph over physics. It is physics, mastered and choreographed. And thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share for more videos. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent